Ciao ragazzi, welcome back. Claudio Giganti here with Giga Racing. We're about to talk about uh, the first day of practice of uh, uh, Portugal uh, Grand Prix, Portimao. Big news back here. Mark Market is back in racing. Uh, yesterday was the press conference. I don't know. I always think that Mark Market is doing like almost like a like a movie, like a telenovela, you know. Oh, I don't know if I feel good. I don't know if I'm gonna be there. Then uh, Friday morning rolls out, and uh, uh, in in the first practice, is third overall. Okay, at uh, uh, two and a half tenths from the <clears throat> from the first one, which is Mavi Ignalis. Uh, so uh, you know all that talk. Oh, is he gonna be back? Is he gonna be good? Is not gonna be good? Even himself saying, "Oh, I'm not sure." Well, he's third already out of the bat, uh, and he's haven't been racing for a while. And then uh, in uh, um, free practice two, <clears throat> uh, in free practice two, it was uh, back again on uh, sixth position and only uh, over almost five, half a second behind. So and we don't know what was what, what was he trying, but. You know, you can see him smiling on the pet. Uh, he's doing really good. I have no doubt he's going to be up front there. I have no doubt he's going to try to win the race if he can. I don't know if you guys watched uh, uh, the second free practice at P2. But he had a huge moment uh, in his last lap. And you think, you know, he might get scattered and uh, is going to roll off the lap. No, he kept on going like Marcus style and he finished his lap. So... I think he's going to be the same that it was before. It's all a, a show saying, oh, I don't know how I'm going to feel, and everybody uncertain. Well, I tell you one thing, guys. If he comes back like he was before, it's going to be boring racing again. It's going to be him uh, winning every race. I got to say, I enjoy last year racing. Uh, it was always somebody different up front. It was very, uh, all the riders were competing to win. It was really enjoyable. It wasn't just to talk about one guy and Mark Marquez winning, Mark Marquez winning, Mark Marquez winning. So I uh, I hope we don't go back to the same style than it was in uh, 2019 uh, before he got injured. And then, you know, people are saying, oh, he doesn't know the tires. Well, the, the tires are most likely the same than last year, most most likely. And uh, in a rat, he was, uh, you know, riding like nobody else. It was super fast before his accident. So... Uh, he's okay on the bike, and again, Honda is, uh, is, uh, is almost like the Ducati of Casey Stoner. Only Casey Stoner could ride the Ducati. And the same with the Honda. Only Mark Martins can ride the, the Honda. It's made just for him. And, you know, that feel of don't know where the grip on the front is finishing and, and you know, all the crashing. Uh, you can see from the other riders, they're trying to ride just like Mark Martins. So they're crashing a lot more to learn the technique to find a limit. So um, that covers for uh, Mark Markets. Today was a strange day. I mean, in, F in FP1, free practice one, we see Mario Vinales out of the box, uh, uh, on top of the time sheet. And then, you know, if we're looking for, uh, for example, Franco Morbidelli, all the way in 14 position, over a second behind. Uh, if we're looking for Valentino Rossi with the other Yamaha, um, 11th, uh, almost 9 tenths of a second behind. So uh, it's hard to understand what's happening there. I think we're still going to have the problem with, with the Michelin tires. You guys probably already figured it out. I do not like Michelin tires. The tires are not performing well for everybody. Uh, I actually heard uh, this week that sometimes they bring back a tire and they give back a tire to a rider that has already been under thermal cover, so it's been already through a heat cycle. They say that doesn't affect the performance of the tire because, you know, out of the tire warmers does not get as hot when, when they're riding, so it's not a full-time, you know, cycle, uh, heat cycle, like when they go in the, in the track. I still believe, like, you know, if a tire has been warmed up already, it should not be given back to the rider, and then... Uh, you know, I was listening to Michelin. What, what would they say to a rider? Oh, you know, you should use this one for the race and this one for, 
qualifying. Like if the tires are all the same, why one tire rider and another tire? I just don't understand. I get confused. It's not clear the way Michelin is running this this tire allegation. Uh, our tire now the medium tire is the previous R tire, and they made a new R tire. Like it's it's really confusing. All the tires are very close to each other, so a soft, medium, and hard. But you can raise all three. And like back in the days, you couldn't raise a soft tire. You know. A soft tire was just for qualifying and then you see bikes like uh, uh, some of the Yamahas for example Vinales he doesn't start the race with a, with a fresh tire he started with a tire that has already three laps in it what does that mean is that if the tire changes dramatically after three laps and he does the same in qualifying so it's it's hard to understand what's happening with the tires I think we're gonna see a lot of shifting around that's what we see you know Francesco Bagnaia <clears throat> top of the time sheets on free practice two and then when we look at him on free practice uh, one it was sixth at uh, a three and a half tenths behind so it's it's really difficult to understand where the bikes are where all the riders are because in change of uh, condition temperature conditions as well like in the morning it was cooler your temperature was 17 degree ground it was 22 and then all of the Saturday in the afternoon, we got 35 ground temperature and 22 air temperature. So there's quite a bit of difference of temperature, and it's hard to decide what tire works best. So in you know in the, the in the practice time that they have, it's hard to distinguish which tire is good and which tire will work best. But anyway, uh, going back, we saw Alex Rins and Johan Mir. In Q2 right from there, I think they're going to be really competitive this weekend, but let's wait until tomorrow and see. Hopefully, uh, we'll see uh, Morbidelli and uh, Rossi uh, back again. Uh, Rossi was on FP2, so which is the uh, race temperature, uh, was 15, and Morbidelli was 19. Morbidelli was uh, uh, over 1.3 seconds behind, and... Uh, Valentin Rossi was uh, uh, is in 1.2559, so 1.3 seconds behind. So um, I don't understand how it can be such a difference in lap times. Fabio Quattorari was a second faster than Valentin Rossi. <clears throat> but again, Mark Markets was up front. Uh, Zarco uh, still in, the, in uh, the top 10, it was 8. And then um, also... Um, Johan uh, it was good on uh, on the free practice one because it was fifth so I think we're going to see a lot from uh, Johan Zarco uh, coming Sunday and maybe even tomorrow the Ducatis are all very close Jack Miller was fifth uh, let's see how it goes one thing I didn't like in the interview of Jack Miller uh, they, he was asked about you know if he had a chance to talk to uh, Johan Mir about the incident uh, I don't think it was an incident. I think it was deliberately done by Miller. He should apologize even on on the interview, but he did not. He still thinks he didn't do anything wrong. And uh, on the interview, he was trying, trying to play funny, saying he doesn't have Johan Mir phone number. I'm sure he can find Johan Mir phone number uh, if he wants to send him a message or if he wants to talk to him. I think he should address what happened last uh, two weeks ago in last race uh, sooner rather than later. But I don't think it will. I think, um, you know, Jack Miller is kind of a cocky rider. Thinks he's the best of the Ducatis. He's been showing that so far he's not the best up there. Even Bagnaia today was doing a lot better than him. So let's see how the weekend goes. We'll talk tomorrow after qualifying. Thank you again for watching. Uh, Claudio Gigante with Giga Racing. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.